Hello, Steve here with more Mobile Internet. Today we're going to talk about the MBR1000 in conjunction with the Verizon USB 760, but more importantly, how to implement failover. Now, failover is if you have two internet sources and you want to have one as a primary and one as a backup. So in this instance, let's say we have a normal DSL, um, which would come in the form of an ethernet cable like this. We're going to plug that right into our WAN port here. So this WAN port, the blue WAN port is, a, is incoming internet. These here are outgoing internet. So you're going to attach these to any desktops or anything that you want to hardwire uh, that way. Okay, so now we have it set up so that we've got the incoming DSL coming in here. It's going to use that first. And then if this fails for some reason or goes out, then it's going to automatically switch over to using the Verizon card. So now you've got a great backup in case this goes out. So that's basically the theory of, of uh, failover. In addition, the other thing you can do is have multiple devices. You could even have two Verizon cards. Then it could start here, go to here, and then go to here if something were to happen to this card. You could even have two different carriers. You could have Verizon and AT&T, for example. Um, to give you even more redundancy. So anyway, that's what failover is all about. Please visit our website, moremobileinternet.com, to find out more.